Hi, welcome to Crucible Arms. If this is your first time, thanks for joining us. If you are a regular subscriber to the channel, thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. Today I want to talk about my very favorite battle rifle, the FNH SCAR 17S or SCAR Heavy as it's called. The military designation is called the MK-17. SCAR stands for Special Combat Assault Rifle. This has been around for a couple of years now. I've had this particular model for over a year and have used it extensively. I use it for plinking, obviously. Uh, I've also used it in tactical courses. I've used it in sniper school. We'll talk about the versatility of this uh, particular model as we go along. And I've also used it for hunting. And so it's a very, very robust platform. It works very, very well in a number of different situations, and it's a tremendous design. It is one of the best battle rifles, I believe, that you can buy in the market today. I'm sure there's people who disagree with me, but we're gonna go into a lot of detail as to why I think this is a tremendous, tremendous firearm, and why you should consider taking a look at one yourself. FN manufactures this rifle, the SCAR 17S, or otherwise designated as the Heavy, right here in the United States, along with its little brother, the SCAR 16S, which is chambered in the 556x45 NATO round. This particular model is chambered in the 762x51 NATO round, or 308 as it's commonly referred to. And this is used by SOCOM, the uh, Special Operations Command. It was put into service a couple of years ago and is utilized by Special Operation Forces throughout the world. The 16S, the smaller one, was manufactured to replace the M16 or the M4 uh, with military trials, but it didn't end up making it through the entire process. In fact, the whole trial ended up getting canceled and they stuck with the M4. That's a whole other story. But uh, so both rifles are available here in the U.S. You can get them in the black or you can get them in the flat dark earth, either one. This is the black model, obviously. Uh, flat dark earth, when I got this, was pretty hard to get a hold of. Again, I've had this rifle for a little over a year. It's about a $2,600 rifle, so it's not inexpensive, but the pricing has come down a little bit since it was first introduced. Um, but I will tell you, it is one of the softest shooting, well thought out, functional 308s uh, modern battle rifles that I've ever come across. Uh, this is a pure joy to shoot. Uh, Mrs. Crucible Arms shoots this rifle, loves shooting this rifle. So what is it that I really love about this rifle? Well, uh, the basics are it's a semi-automatic uh, 20 plus 1 capacity. It's a short stroke piston design. So it is not a direct impingement. Uh, the gas system is all up front here. We'll go into that in a second. Um, it is got a 16 and a quarter inch free floating cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, the free float is really important in my mind in terms of accuracy. Uh, it's also chrome lined the chamber as well as the barrel itself. It has a hard anodized monolithic upper and then it has a polymer lower. And so the total weight of this package is about eight pounds and that's pretty impressive for a 308. The upper comes with a full length rail on top, rails on the side, and a rail on the bottom so you can hang whatever accessories you want off of it. It also includes backup sights directly on the rifle, or I should say combat sights. Um, both the front and the rear, they're both fully adjustable, and they just slide right out of the way when you use optics. Fairly simple design. Not all rifles these days come with a set of backup uh, sights on them, or iron sights for that matter, so that's a nice option on this. Um, it does have a reciprocating charging handle, so that can be a bit of an issue. Uh, when you're shooting, uh, you got to be careful that you don't get your thumb in the way of this thing. I have done it, and it will whack you pretty good if you're not careful. Uh, it is reversible, though. You can pull it out, put it on the other side. Uh, in fact, the entire platform is pretty much ambidextrous. If you like the AR-15, M4, M16 rifle, you are going to love where the controls are on the SCAR. They're essentially in the same place, in most regards, with the exception of the charging handle. You've got the safety selector switch right where you'd expect it to be. It is ambidextrous, so there's a smaller switch on the other side, and they can be reversed, so you can put the larger one, uh, if you're a lefty, on the other side of the rifle. It does have a bolt hold open, very similar to the AR. Again, the charging handle is different, but same uh, placement, same place for the, the uh, release. Give that a push, comes back home. It also has an ambidextrous magazine release. Both sides of the rifle, same thing. It is a proprietary magazine, so some people aren't gonna be very excited about that. Uh, however, 
tough, tough magazines have had zero issues with them. In fact, the whole platform's been very, very reliable. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But finishing up, uh, you know, just the way the rifle looks and feels and operates. Uh, when you get to the buttstock, it is an adjustable buttstock. It uh, has, I believe, six positions, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, says six on there. Um, so you can get any length of pull that you want. It also has an adjustable cheek comb, and I really like that. I run a number of different optics on the top of this rifle, uh, and so having the cheek comb for running optics is really, really slick. Works nice for me. The stock is also a side folder, so you're able to shorten up the entire platform. It does lock into place. The uh, rifle does operate with it locked up like this, but it's certainly not designed to. One of the concerns that I had with the uh, stock itself being a side folder had to do with its accuracy. I have done sniper school with this particular rifle. Um, it's a highly, highly accurate rifle. I've been very, very pleased with the results I've gotten out of it. And But one of the things that concerned me, obviously, was having a adjustable stock that also folds. You can end up getting a lot of unwanted movement. But I found that it's a very, very stable stock all in all and uh, really did not affect any of my uh, precision work whatsoever. I've only made one change from the stock configuration to this particular rifle. I did put a Geisley Super Scar trigger in it. The original trigger that's in the rifle is a military style trigger. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's a, got a very clean break. It has a nice predictable reset, but it is a military grade trigger, meaning that it's a relatively heavy pull. So I wanted something that was going to be lighter, something that was going to be more attuned to doing the precision uh, work that I like to do with this particular rifle. I'm a huge fan of Geisley triggers, and the Super Scar is no exception. It is an excellent, excellent trigger. Whether you're doing precision work or not, it is a, a great upgrade if you've got this particular rifle. So let's field strip the rifle, show you the innards. It'll give you a really good sense of why this is such a soft shooting and reliable 308. Uh, it's a very simple takedown procedure. There's a single pin on the front here. It is captured. You pull it out, and that allows you to drop the entire polymer lower. So that's done. Once you've done that, that gives you the ability to slide the buttstock off. Once that comes off, put a little pressure here, recoil spring comes out, you slide the bolt back, remove the pin. That's how you reverse it. You just put it back together on the other side if you want to have the charging handle on the other side. And then the bolt carrier group comes out. So let's take a look at the bolt carrier group just a little bit. We're going to take it down a little further, but I just want to show you, and you can't feel it, but the heft on this is very significant. It is a very heavy bolt carrier group, and this is what absorbs so much of the recoil uh, when you're firing it and why it's such a soft shooter. Uh, again, it's a short piston design. I'm not going to take the piston out. There is a small piston right up here, right up front. Uh, you literally just take the gas adjustment off. I forgot to mention that earlier. It does have two positions on the gas block, uh, one for uh, subsonic and another for supersonic rounds. But there's a third position that allows you to pop that off, and then you can push out a very short, small uh, piston right here in the front of the rifle, and you can clean that as well if you like. But this is the field strip that we're talking about here. So back to the bolt carrier group. Again, a lot of weight, uh, very substantial. Uh, take the rest of this down is pretty simple. You take uh, the charging handle and you push this little pin out. And once that pin comes out, now you're able to take the firing pin out. And then you're allowed to change. You can do, uh, again, if you're familiar with the AR, you change or turn the uh, cam pin and then the bolt itself comes out. So very, very simple takedown procedure. It's, I mean, you can do it in the dark, you can do it with your blindfolded, you can do it in your sleep pretty much. Going back together, exactly the opposite is taking it apart. Certainly nothing complicated. Uh, drop the bolt assembly back in, put your cam pin back in, turn it so it's aligned correctly. Slide the firing pin back into place. And then the pin that you pushed out, you simply push back in and now that's captured. Once that's done, slide the bolt carrier group back into the upper. Line that up with, so you can get your charging handle back in. There's a little hole on the side. And again, this is where you can put it in on the other side if you choose to. Once you got that in, recoil spring assembly goes back in. Slide the buttstock back in place. Lower goes on. Pop the pin back in, function check. 
and you're good to go. Well, as you can tell, I am a huge fan of this particular rifle. Uh, ask me why? Well, first off, it starts with the cartridge. I'm a big fan of 762 by 51 uh, 308 I like a full-size cartridge. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge AR fan. I'm a huge AK fan. I have plenty of both. Uh, but when it comes to a battle rifle, this is really, really a nice package. Eight pounds overall, a very, very soft shooter. You saw how easily it comes apart, cleans, goes back together again. Very simple design. Uh, gas piston, a great platform. The ability to have uh, you know, backup sights on the rifle itself, uh, coming with the rifle, I should say. The ability to put optics on it, uh, the 20 round capacity plus one. Uh, the ability to fold it, tremendous amount of versatility. And if things were really to get out of hand, uh, this would be one of my first go-to rifles. I do appreciate you supporting my channel. I appreciate you stopping by today. I appreciate you letting me show you the tremendous FN SCAR 17S slash heavy. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.